Now you joined the Bulls early that season in March. What do you remember the most about that stretch run at the end of the regular season when the team was trying to break the record? I remember when you walked in and uh, Tex was trying to show me the offense and I pulled out my videos tapes, uh, the video tapes, had VHS tapes of the triangle that we had in Detroit. And he was looking at it, goes, this is how you guys played us? I go, yeah. So I kind of got an idea of it and I just kept wanting to learn it. But it was, we win here. We walked in the game, it was like 50% chance you already won. When you walk with Michael, it's 110 chance you're going to win. <laughs> Other guys are thinking, I'm not going to get embarrassed. Uh, I hope he doesn't dunk on me. Like you, they were in fear playing us. And that was the most amazing thing. All right, so, John, we know the Warriors eclipsed the record with 73 wins in 2016, but they didn't win it all that year. Your team, you did. The wins record yeah. was great, but how important was it to finish 96 and that record with the championship? That's exactly how Phil put it. Phil said all of this work and all the things we're doing, you don't get this far. When the playoffs started, it was going into another season. And one of the first things, you know, Phil makes us watch a movie. And one of the coolest things is uh, one of the first movies he put on was Friday with Ice Cube and Chris <laughs> Tucker. And there was a scene when Debo shows up. And Debo shows up and everybody's like this. And, you know, a couple of the guys on the team hadn't seen it predominantly the non-black guys. And every black guy was happy we were watching Friday. And when Debo showed up, it flipped right over so we can watch Alonzo Morning. So <laughs> Phil said, this is Debo. <laughs> Man, how are you going to get fired on your day off? Uh, Dennis Rodman <laughs> was your teammate in 96. Uh, the last dance docuseries of the 97-98 Bowl season continues this Sunday, episodes three and four. I want you to watch this excerpt about Dennis Rodman's importance to the team. When Scotty left, well, I think Mike had a lot of confidence in me to knowing that I'm going to be there for him. I'm not going to let him down. I'm not going to let the team down. I'm going to let the city down. No. Rodman clears the defensive board to the goal. You have a great history with Rodman. You guys came back in the league together in 1986 as rookies with the Pistons, then again with the Bulls playing together. How would you describe Rodman as a teammate? I would say probably one of the best teammates you could ever have. Um, he's going to say yes. He's going to go out. He's going to do whatever he needs to do. And he's going to perform. That's the one thing. It, it's not more important about winning. I mean, uh, with Dennis, you put it all out on the floor. We call him big man in Detroit, uh, and he's only 6'7", but we call him big man. So whoever the seven-footer is that can score, Dennis is going to guard. So big man is going to do what's ever necessary and to entertain the crowd. Remember, he pumped his fist after he scored or did something great every single time, or if somebody else did something great. So he is definitely a great teammate. He just loved doing the dirty work beat with the Pistons, with the Bulls in L.A. And I can only assume, John Sally, the T-shirt you're wearing is means you're going to have a little Taco Tuesday tonight. Is that correct? No, let's oh. talk about saving animals. Okay. See, I'm a vegan, man. I, I got I to gotta wear my vegan things in front of you. Oh, you could have a, a, a vegetable. Yeah, you could have a vegan Come on, you Dragon fruit. Yeah, you can have all different things. You don't have to have an animal flesh in your taco. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.